Our second award is the F. Peter Gross Best Practices Award. The purpose of this award is to recognize school psychology programs that demonstrate exemplary professional practices and to provide specific information to other school psychologists. The OSPA Awards Committee, along with the OSPA Executive Board, are pleased to present the F. Peter Gross Best Practices Award to Amanda Tandy. Amanda Tandy has worked in Akron Public Schools for only four years, but already has been instrumental in implementing a sustainable intervention assistance team framework. Very early in her tenure, Amanda identified a need for improved intervention supports throughout the elementary and secondary schools and worked with the district leadership to develop a successful IAT program. She has conducted professional development in over 50 schools, providing staff with the training and tools needed to run building-based IATs. She has created a series of training manuals, handbooks, and assessment rubrics to help future teams follow a research-based IAT process. She has also developed a system to track IAT participation encouraging accountability at both the building and district level. After laying the groundwork for IATs, she continues to monitor progress and provide support through regular meetings at the district leadership level to review IAT data and by providing continued professional development to school psychologists and other educators throughout Akron Public Schools. For her outstanding service to the students of Akron Public Schools and exemplary professional practice, the OSPA Executive Board is honored to present Amanda Tandy with the 2015 F. Peter Gross Best Practices Award. Thank you. I'm very grateful to receive the F. Pete Gross Best Practice Award in School Psychology. Thank you to the awards committee for this recognition, as well as Dr. Eric Merkel, who offered supportive words regarding my efforts in Akron Public Schools to facilitate IATs when this nomination was brought to the committee. I also want to extend my appreciation to Dr. Rob Kubik who sneakily facilitated my nomination, <laughs> and those who, along with Rob, including Amy Kirsch, John Viltz, and Karen Lydell Anderson, created letters of support for my nomination. Their willingness to offer such kind words and give their time for my recognition is incredibly thoughtful. Soon after this school year began, I was asked to shift just a portion of my role as a school psychologist to act as an IAT facilitator for the elementary and secondary schools in Akron Public Schools. This experience has been a roller coaster ride for me. I've really struggled with uh, managing the ups and downs from the frustration when faced with the many challenges that interfere with student achievement to the excitement of watching team members around the district make changes to increase student success. While this ride is an unpredictable one and at times very tiring, I feel so lucky to have a role that allows me to learn so much from others and work with such amazing colleagues. The dedicated IA team members in my district have made this experience very gratifying. I've been lucky since the beginning of my journey in school psychology, attending Kent State University with a wonderful cohort and such supportive professors, working with educational staff and administrators who encourage the efforts of school psychologists from Ohio to Connecticut and back again, to the exceptional and very dynamic group of school psychologists I work with from the Child Study Department in Akron Public Schools. So many have set the bar high, challenged the status quo, and sought after what is best for kids. All along this path, as an, and as I move forward, I've been supported by my family and my friends. And at the end of the day, I am so lucky because I get to come home to my fabulous children, Alexandra and Owen, who will be pleased that they are in a speech, and my incredible husband, Rob, who all cheer me on to be the best I can at everything I strive to do. These positive experiences and supports move me forward when I feel like the effort at work is too much and the change in education is too slow. When overwhelmed, I've been trying to stop and remind myself to take it a day at a time. As we move forward as school psychologists, 
bogged down by the race to do what's best for children, I'd like to offer a simple mantra, which I, to this day, still spin in my head. These words were repeated again and again by Deb Delisle, who is now the United States Assistant Secretary of Elementary and Secondary Education, but was the superintendent in the Cleveland Heights University Heights School District when I was there more than a decade ago. She used to remind the staff of these thoughtful words. Every child, every day, some success, some way. Thank you so much for your time and this lovely recognition.